best thing about the anger I got from not having an episode right. was the whole week I was driving and I would just roll down my window because it was a pretty nice week, you know, Yeah. after work. And I would just go, Cole Bear, you piece of shit! The Shug Shane Hollister. Logan Anaiken. Lyndon Ehlers. Wrestling with music and life for life. <laughs> Rasmus with music and life episode 22. Uh, technical difficulties. By the way, I just want to say this. I want to say this. Happy Labor Day. You guys are obviously lab- laborious or laborers. Sorry. Yeah. And I want to say cheers. And obviously, we're recording now. Yes, oh, fuck, for no. fucking sake. <laughs> if you want one, go ahead and take um, one. Hey, I got, I got some down here, too. These are all the give same me, ones. Give me so. a truly tropical, I suppose. Yeah. These are all the same flavor, the mimosa, uh, strawberry, I the orange. truly tropicals. I know, it's, my, it's my go-to, other than uh, yeah, tequila, yeah. by the way. And I want to say this, too. Um, tequila, drank a whole bottle the other day, zero hangover. <laughs> Because what? if you get 100% blue agave, I'm not like a tequila guy. That's no, the I'm part. not either. But I did it with ginger ale, um, the the stevia one. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Like for you. Not a bad. Not a bad. <laughs> well, this, this makes sense for somebody. I, I see, not I see what's going on. I don't want to know. He, he, you know, you know, he didn't get the fact that I was making fun of his orange ass beard. Yeah, it was ginger to, ale. Uh, yeah. He was trying to ale me with the ginger. I thought you were just talking in general. <laughs> it's all good. You know? Either way, uh, oh, fuck. zero hangover. It was great. But there was a hangover or a hiccup, and I have to repeat it. Uh, last week's episode did not record the audio, so I fucked up. Again, I owe these it guys even, so much, and I paid them so handsomely. You know, to be honest, don't you worry didn't about even it. Have, I gave them $1,000 each, you don't even, and it's all good. You don't even have to say... But it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Because they have because no fucking clue. It didn't nobody, idea, nobody has any idea. Yeah, but we want to be transparent and, and authentic here. Besides the I, fact I, that I, I promoted okay. it on my Snapchat and like they're like, where the fuck's this? Where the fuck's this video? At? I didn't even have a thumbnail done. By the time you found out, I was like just oh started God. on it. And, and you're like, you're like, oh, it didn't record. Oh, okay, well, I, I know oh, nothing fuck. of snatch chat. So I, I drove up here sure, the guys. whole time. I was thinking, driving up here, thinking the half first half of the episode is going to be how our episode last week got fucked up <laughs> and how funny it was. <laughs> And how funny oh, it was. Yeah. And Joe got a, a, he was talking a little bit and saying that he didn't have a show. The best thing about the anger I got from not having an episode right. was the whole week I was driving and I would just roll down my window because it was a pretty nice week, you know? Yeah. After work. And I would just go, Cole Bear, you piece of shit! To people. <laughs> and it made me feel so good. And and then I'd come in the door, and Alicia's just like sitting. I'd be like, "You piece of shit!" And everybody's just like, "Why do you keep doing that?" So like, it just made me feel so good. There's this lady. <laughs> there's this lady that lives. I live in an apartment. Comp- I live in an apartment complex. That there's this lady that lives like. Well, I think she lives there. I'm not sure. <laughs> right. But she's like in the middle of the day all the time, just hammered, fucking shit drunk. And she's style. walking, and she'll be walking down the alley, and I just hear her go, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, like, somebody drives by down the alley, it's just to get over, she's like, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> I'm shit. Uh, and you can hear her, like, an echo. Oh, it's like oh the call God. of the West End Davenport. She's like, yeah. Oh, my God. Shit. If you found out it was Misty Manic in the whole time. She looks like she's probably related. Rearing her. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. 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 <laughs> One time me and, me and Emily were coming down the alley, and she was walking, and she's, like, stopped somebody else that was also driving down the alley, and I had to turn off because I was like, I'm not going to sit here and wait. And when we we had turned around and parked, and she came walking down the alley, she said, people can't just have a conversation anymore. <laughs> yeah. They really can't. That's, that's, like, that's fucking wisdom. That's, they can't I don't, have a conversation I mean, I, anymore. I know. Oh, you know? Fuck. <laughs> you can have a conversation with yourself. There was some like shit going doing. on. There was some shit going oh, on in the apartment next to me. We Uh-oh. were coming back from Target, and there was just, I just heard some woman in the out of the window go, Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> like, 
That's where you go. You piece of shit. Hey, you piece of shit. <laughs> Ice cold beer, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dude. Uh, it's I been a fun it. week. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, that was a damper. And then, obviously, you know, uh, <clears throat> things happen. But, like, I'm going to officially say this because this kind of gets my fucking dick hard as oh. fucking rock. All right. Um, I officially own wrestlingwithmusic.com and uh, <clears throat> nice. starting to build the website. So. That's going to be a thing here, hopefully, within the next month. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit. I've never done it before. I did, I guess. Uh, what with, are you, are you using Angel like one of those? Fire <laughs> back in the day, if you remember that. Are you using uh, like one of those websites? I'm going to use like Wix. And so, that's I, what we use for the pit. That's what we use for our pit lord for our press kit. Hmm. Like an unlisted Wix site. So I can just send people that link and well, it's Well, I actually bought a, a real domain because I, yeah, I want to have it. I didn't. I just, oh, okay. it's just the, yeah. it's just like the, the starter site, but that's all you need for a press kit. Really. Yeah. So, so, I mean, now I got uh titanium utopia, which is, you know, the solo project.com and the Shug project.com. So, uh, you, really, why do like, you, you bought one three of them? project? I, Cause, Cause I he's, he's going to make me feel like shit because now he owns it. it. Now I have to fucking no, do you it. Don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. You're, you could, did you sign a contract? No, Definitely not. No. Um, really? I don't even know that. I, I I've literally so signed already, like man. one contract in Was my this life. Part of the tequila. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with the. Yeah. And the fact that it only costs $12 per year. Like, oh, uh, that ain't shit. That ain't shit. Well, we just well, obviously, <clears throat> we talked about something last week that I we were just brought up a contract and yeah. um, SCW having to get licensed music, and mm-hmm. I had to go out of my way to sign a contract for using music, and they can't promote it. There's it's only live shows. You can't even live stream it. Otherwise, I am in breach of contract, and I have to pay a fine. <gasps> Damn. So when they do, uh, there's a fan who likes to fucking live stream our shows which is bullshit by the way um with wrestling it's like come to the fucking show don't just show these people live yeah. what they can just sit at fucking home and watch it's bullshit right. you know you it's know what fair. though just not to cut you off but you know how many fucking people probably actually watch that shitty fucking live stream Probably, probably uh, uh, enough that we got fucking reported. Oh, right, that's right. oh, I remember okay. you talking about this. Was this? Do they? Is it like a Twitch stream or is no, it just this guy's just Facebook stream? Oh, yeah. But again, companies yeah. companies would be like, oh wow, uh, well they live streamed right. it, so it's not just a live event that people there are just seeing. And even on our, our uh, SCW Patreon, uh, entrances have been cut off. It's just the matches. So, yeah. like, you, you know, the, the bands are, weren't liable even for that. So, Makes again, uh, sign the contract, Oceano, District of Misery, and it works out fucking perfect with my entrance and everything. It's oh, just, yeah. And it's heavy as fuck. Um, they're not even with that record label anymore, and the fact that I just reached out to the record label and I signed a contract through them yeah. and never even contacted the well, band. Well, that, that label owns the rights to that stuff yeah which That's is fucking why. crazy to yeah. think about man right. like it's like like fuck that band i could just sell their song to whoever the fuck Dude, i want to there's right. all kinds of fucking like uh i know i hate god had something with like relapse records where relapse records just released this compilation of theirs but with no like say so of the band or anything and the band completely disregards this this garbage i forget what it's called southern discomfort i think is what that is and it was just like a mm. compilation of shit uh, that they shit. Yeah, were recorded yeah. that were kind of pushed this yeah. like b-sides uh the first the first strapping young lad album technically the first uh heavy is a really heavy thing same thing Not really even. wow Devin Townsend didn't even want to fucking release that. The re- label was just like, yeah, too bad. Fuck you. You recorded yeah. it. We oh, own the shit. rights. Yeah, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. It's fucked. <laughs> and like, I heard, uh, well, Oceano's going to play at fucking Wildwood. And I don't really know a lot of the other bands. A couple of my buddies are like, Spite's fucking cool. And then Carnifex, which I never it's, got into. It's going to be. I I've heard of I've, Carnifex I've, so I've always, many times. Every since, time I see anything from Carnifex, I'm like, they look cool. And I've still, I don't think I've ever listened to But like, to apparently. Wasn't it, it, was it on like a Tony Hawk? Carnifex song? No. I can't. I don't uh, think so. That's Carnifex. I, or, I mean, Tony Hawk stuff was mostly like. Punk stuff, if well, I remember right. I mean, unless, metal, unless like, you're talking about like one. later. 
But yeah, like, later they had like uh, Tony Hawk three is like the last one we. I remember. There's like there's like ten Tony Hawk games. I only know. bring up Carnifex because a buddy of mine that I went to the show with was like they literally own no right to like two of their albums yeah. that they have fucking recorded. Yeah, the like more, nothing. Yeah. They own the, nothing. The more like I remember freaking out at one point. It's like why isn't like I like like a pit lord should be on a label right now, which may or may not be true. But at the time I was thinking that right. right. <laughs> and then I talked to people who are on labels. <laughs> and I hear more and more shit where it's like, yeah, our next two albums, they want to completely own everything. And yeah. I'm like, uh, me and Dan have been doing this shit for four years and all of the money goes to us unless, unless it's through like band camp, which they get like a tiny percentage. Right. It's not a huge deal. But, you know how many like bands or it, well, not bands, but I've just seen like artists that are completely independent and yeah. they're killing yeah. They're like on. They're fucking killing cryptopsy. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're They've the been independent for a while now. They're the like, ones that put on the show. Yeah. And I don't know how the hell Derek got us on that show. I mean, you just call. Called, I think he, he literally just called. He called right. And, <laughs> right. And they're like, "Yeah, you piece of shit." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. So for especially with that, that was impressive uh, to hear that cryptopsy is basically they're the ones making it all. And I was like, "It's Fuck impressive, yeah. yes, but they've been a band for like probably going on thirty years now. They got the cred, and they got the cred, so you can just do that. Right. It's like for a smaller band, that's the biggest thing a label can offer you now is PR. But then you can just go to a PR company." Which right, is what right, we do now. Right. right. Exactly. Because and then you bypass them owning the rights of yeah. their fucking music, yeah. dude. Which and I is do fucking think insane. There's right. still there's there is still a disadvantage again, cause cause you can we can only afford so much PR for so much for a certain amount right. of time. But you know, like you you just want people talking about it. And that's what a lot of bands totally like drop the ball on. And you're right. so worried. And about you did it. you guys did it the right way by making the connections. Like actual personal, though they're like, dude, we like you, Lynn, and we like you, and Dan, like whatever, whether it be That's, the singer from Skinless, there's, there's and stuff a, like that. The, there's this fucking phenomenally genius dude on Instagram named Matt Bacon, <laughs> and I love it. Funny name, but he worked with like uh, the Black Dahlia murder. Okay, oh, shit, okay. Um, he's like, he's like a, uh, I would say rock PR dude because he he covers a lot of different things. But he's he's always dropping like these little tidbits of fucking info that's that's like, hey, if you're a small band and you're trying to do this, you need to do this and this and this. And one of the things yeah. was to yeah, personalize it. Like you said, yeah. is is you're you're selling yourself as an artist, not just a band name yeah. and a logo and you know, brutal album art and bullshit. Like And what's really funny is like that's all of our favorite bands. They did that. In the yeah. 80s, you know, right. like James Hetfield, I'm just throwing Metallica there just yeah. because you can see why they were so successful, because he was a character. And then Kirk Hammett, you didn't really know him, but he was a character. Jason said even joining, and, although and he, I would anybody, say Cliff Burton was a character, 100%. Characters, and they were like individually were characters. Pantera, obviously, Dimebag Daryl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, characters. Those are like, I feel like those then are like... DVDs made those them are, personal. Those are like the original examples of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And <clears throat> that's where I think, like, uh, with, with uh, wrestling, where it's, it's like... Yeah. 100 percent that right? oh yeah completely you know oh, yeah. that's like, why it's, like, that's why they call it independent wrestling yeah. you're not signed to it even after you get in wwe there are certain rights that they own like they will end up owning your name if you unless you sign a contract differently like cm punk still yeah. owns the rights to his fucking name so like if god forbid or whatever Colby gets fucking released. They will own the rights to Seth Rollins. Yeah. Right. Like that Seth Rollins brand is theirs. Right. So see, like that's made me wonder why there hasn't been a character that is like not bound to a specific person. Like, you know, the way Ghost Rider and the comic right. comics can kind of can go transition from, and it becomes a different look and a different thing. Has there there? Am I wrong? Has no, there, no. Oh uh, well, they did it with they did it with one of the mask characters that oh. they own the rights to, and he got let go and went back to uh, Mexico. I can, I can never remember his name because he. I, he, I guess I didn't consider a mask. But that again, yeah, again mask. though, again <laughs> to me with wrestling fans, they're like they're gonna identify a face. But again, also we do this all the time when we watch movies. 
There's supposedly a rumor, or not a rumor, but a fan theory that James Bond 007 is just the moniker of that agent, and that's why it's okay to constantly change them. I actually feel like that's something that they say in the original novels. Oh, okay. Is that 007's always just been a tool. Like, he was... The reason... It's interesting that you brought this up, because I read... I was uh, watching something where somebody was talking about this, where the complaint for James Bond for so long, the reason, the reason Daniel Craig was so successful because he gave a lot more personality to, to I, James Bond. He's later. legit. Like he's buffered yeah. and fuck. Right. Looks kind of, well, yeah, but like, but he, like, well, he also played rugged. character. They also rugged. gave him like kind of the prequel role where he was still kind of because, fucking up when he yeah. was doing stuff. Yeah. Because originally James Bond was written to be just personality less. He was a tool of MI6. Right. And he was just like, um, not meant to be a character, more so an idea. Yeah. You know? Right. Um, but what going back to the my wrestling thing is like if there was a character that was like a spirit and yeah. would possess <laughs> every so often, you know, Dude, this, come hang on. as a Lyndon's just Ray coming Wyatt. up with some shit that's gonna end up happening. <laughs> Fucking, we gotta like be like, hey, we gotta rewind back to this because there's gonna That's be a way. What Alexa Bliss is doing with uh, they they now she's just normal, but she can just be crazy. I mean, but at what any if time. you could bring well, that? Was a, I, don't, I thought that was Liv Morgan. No, it's Alexa well, you're Bliss. right. It was Alexa. If Alexa you was in the yeah, yeah. Wyatt family, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. you could yeah. bring a character back over and over and over, like they die, but the spirit like is what the See, essence of the character was. Undertaker. And it, passes right nah, but he always, but yeah, but always he was the still same him. guy yeah. he's always the oh, same okay, guy okay, i'm okay. talking about he comes back you know As and, somebody else yeah. possesses them oh, yeah see this okay. could be fun because right now no what is it frightening frighteners oh yes yeah, sort or of it. yeah but like again here's the thing is there are companies who are totally all about characters right now and these yeah. characters that i've already put over numerous times they're they're straight up characters Mm-hmm. And there are more over than the best wrestler on the fucking show half the time. Like they'll come out, they have the you guys seen this fucking this clip of this guy who's like tossing piece of dough while he's wrestling and like doing spots. <laughs> You ain't what? seen this shit? It's no. blowing up all over the fucking internet I right now. I can't do it. I can't do it's it. It's literally <laughs> blowing up all over the internet right now, and it's talked about on the news and mm-hmm. all this shit. And I'm like, this dude's wrestling career is got, about to go. It is. <laughs> right. Even if that's not what he does. He I did mean, it for one fucking show, and did he did it, for it great. One fucking show, yeah. Dude, like in an arm ringer. But transitions but the, catches but the, it. No, that's right. The, the, mm. just, the, just the physical and the mental fortitude to to do that right proves even if the, even if he die he's not tossing pizza dough during a match what else can he fucking do as is, a wrestler is he sponsored now, by low pie i don't know <laughs> well it's like he like talks about like i don't know i read a little bit but i watched the video and there was a person even on my facebook was like i was sent this video and i don't even watch fucking wrestling and i thought it was cool because <laughs> he's literally like roll like Walking around the ring, like throwing this dough and throwing it around, and like right. it's not falling it's apart. But I'm like, this motherfucker obviously has done this plenty of fucking and that's times. Not, that's not an easy thing to do. Toss no. dough like that. Like, <laughs> Lyndon was a pizza guy. Yeah. Well, no, I worked I didn't with do him. That. Happy Joe's, for all you fucking Happy Joe's stands out there, <laughs> nothing's fucking other tossed. Fucking, other dough is fucking frozen. It's garbage, you fucking retards. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not, it's not fresh. Uh, no, okay, they pull yeah. it out and they let drunk? it proof. Oh. There's no fun in making a Happy Joe's pizza at all. No, there is no. I, I'm pretty Happy sure Joe's. Lo-Fi, I think they, ha- they, yeah, they, they have toss, to toss, toss that my, shit. My girlfriend used to work there. Yeah. My fiance. Sorry. Yes, I got fiance. That was, the most, <laughs> that was the most important hey, thing I talked about last week. Click it or Yeah, buddy. Yeah, fiance. Hey. Yeah, oh. I literally keep, I, I, I was. Uh, Every oh, time yeah, you guys put something up yeah. together, it's like, ah. Yeah, the storybook shit. <laughs> well, and that, fucking every time. You know, I don't have to put up every five minutes what I did, you know, like they do. But oh yeah, my god, um, <laughs> this fu- what would it be a cunt? Would it no, be a cunt? I, I love it, but uh, it, you know, fourteen years for me and Alicia. So you know, we've been, we've been to the point where we're like, oh okay. Yeah. Now she still puts up stuff. I, I've never been a social media gag. I, I, I say that just in jest. Right. Because I, I honestly, I don't know what it is about me. Maybe there's something old school or something, but I just think 
that I don't want people to know what I'm doing. And I, 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 I that's, mean, that's they don't put up yeah. everything. They I do. sure as no, shit don't put up them. everything. I'm not saying them. I'm just saying in general, because there's people on my feed that what literally the f- like show every five minutes what they're doing. <laughs> no, that, like, that is terrible. Well, that's because they're trying to hide something. At. I also make an, yeah. a, I, I make a, an effort nowadays to essentially only put stuff up <clears throat> that's, Positive or what I or like that promotes something that I'm doing Blame. or something. I, sit there and go, I, I hate my job and right, and, right. and I'm gonna vaguely post about something that somebody did to me. Meh, 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 meh. Like I or, don't fucking do that. You like, completely like say some, something some, fucking some, hilarious as shit. Like, that's uh, like, right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> it leads me into what I was gonna actually talk about right there. It was perfect because uh, Lyndon, uh, you used to have a blog, and I was gonna ask you where did where did you had like a blog for a while about like. Music and, and for like, I made like one post and I and, and no, I, you would talk about bands and you'd put them over and it was just like a, a yeah, blog. I do that. I just do that on my regular Facebook now because yeah, blogs say, are annoying. So that, was that stupid. on Facebook or was that it was on Facebook? Because I'm remembering it, like a website for some reason. Yeah, no, I had that too, and I hated it. Oh, like okay. I did it for like so my I don't whole know, my whole thing is month. with this website I want to create. Obviously. You're going to be an administrator. You're going to be an administrator. I want to create a forum because I remember like QC forums. You guys remember that at all? Yeah, like, people don't use forums forum. anymore. It's all Reddit. Though. I yeah. know, but it's coming back <clears throat> because everything comes back. It's just like people go, eh, fuck this. I'm going to go back to the old school. And, and I don't know what it is. I don't think anybody does that. I ah, <laughs> forums? <laughs> I, 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 the music that's happening in my house lately because of Alicia Marie right. is 80s. It came back. Oh, it okay. is. Uh, and, I mean, and, in this and, moment, we recorded horror like 1983. You guys talk about VHS type tapes being sold again. It comes back. Oh, See it's all coming back. That forum, stuff, but it never really no. went away. Well, well, we'll make it back to what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, but it's getting... Obviously, it's, with the forum, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like Lander Vision. I always said that as a joke when I'm drunk. Lander Vision! Which they, they named the fucking thing Lander Vision. He needs Vision a fucking that. shirt just for himself for that. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I do have. There's, I have my. Me and Dan both have our faces on the on a pit lord shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, I have the fucking three quarter sleeve with you guys I, on. Yeah, it. I have people that go. My wife wears wears the shirt, and we tried to have sex, and she was wearing it, and I couldn't because I was looking at your face. <laughs> also, speaking of that same, oh, speaking man. of that same shirt, I was at that show, Upon a Burning Body show, yeah, and there was a dude walking around wearing it. And I was like, dude, nice shirt. And he's like, oh man, yeah, thanks. <laughs> like, little do you know, I have a podcast. I, that fucking guy. <laughs> I've seen uh, Sean, Sean Tipton was there, and he, he posted about that, that he... He was there for a few minutes and he saw somebody with a pit lord shirt. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we played there. That makes sense. So what I was getting at with though uh, is your old posts. I love because you're putting over these bands. No, nope, nobody can even spell the fucking band name. I could. I had to ask him how to <laughs> again today. I still had to ask you guys how to what? say it again. Fuck? Yeah, yeah, Volvidinia. Yeah, yeah, Volvidinia. That's not. Yeah, that's nothing that's compared to like Scheinfeld. Okay. Or yeah, some well, like fuck, Swedish or well, like. I remember watching Volvidinia. Seinfeld. It was pretty good. Um, <laughs> but I I use I use Emily because Emily can speak Swedish and German, yeah. and just uh, so I'll find bands that have like their names in Swedish, and, and I then she's ask gonna her, actually how to say. She it. has to teach me how to say it. And ah, like, oh, nice. Jeanfeld. Well, like, and I, I guess what I'm getting at was uh, to have your own like not necessarily a blog because I don't even know if it's called that anymore. But that's so yeah. easy to do in Wix, and they yeah. look good. You can yeah, you can make it look really it. cool. Yeah. So, well, I'm gonna have you make that look good. I'll just oh. give you the password or whatever because okay. I, I don't want to fucking steal your thunder, bub. I'm so excited to do that. <laughs> I'm so excited to work. So on what that. I wanted, I, if it was possible, <laughs> Lyndon, is to bring that old stuff back and and copy I, and paste. That and, was and, all on fucking WordPress. I don't even know the the oh, password. Oh, okay. For. Well, I mean. Uh, <clears throat> I, I already it. I do I that it. stuff. Here's the thing, right? Yeah. Is yes, I wanted to do that, and then at some point I had a Facebook page for doing that. Yeah. And here's the thing: I got really fucking sick of it right away. Oh, okay. Like I do that stuff on my own Facebook now because I have a, I seem to have a decent amount of people that that react to the things I post. Right. Like I seem to be in, in a lot of people's feeds, luckily, cause I'm, I, I'm so active on Facebook and right. Um, some are um, the pit Lord Instagram is a lot more active than my own, but I 
don't like to stick to a. I don't like to stick to a schedule. It's like, oh, like if I had to be, if it was something like, oh, I want to post something at least like once a week, yeah, or multiple times a week. I, sometimes I don't feel like it, and I don't want to. And like Same I do here. the best thing. I, I do. I do my best when I really am and motivated and want to do it. No, I and get you. I get with you. a with having a blog, I found myself feeling obligated feeling to like myself. A freak, freak on a leash. It's like this. <laughs> Jesus. It's like this self. This like this self appointed obligation, and then and then I would turn around and be like, Nah, I don't feel like doing it. And I don't know, man. I don't. I don't like people who want to put their opinions out there as. I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I would just rather be me. And if I feel like posting about a band and talking about it, I'll just do it. Just and it over, and yeah. that's good enough for me. I, Cause I don't want to make that a thing. I like, I like doing so what as I usual. Do what Lander shits on my idea. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, as usual, you volunteered me for something I may or may not want to do. <laughs> I just volunteered you for something you've already done. I'm like, oh, that's true. He might like it. No, I, I hear. <laughs> like, very. Oh, by the way, that scarred my being, and I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> very long, very oh, short man. way of putting what it was. Shug? Very short way of putting it was. I'm just going to show Shug doing that real quick. I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> putting over the podcast on my Snapchat. Right now. Uh, I want to say also, uh, thank you, Lyndon. I, uh, I owe you some cash. Um, Lyndon, oh, f- oh, for the logo? Yeah. And, That's what, uh, you don't owe me any cash for that. We're I'm definitely going to give you okay. some cash. That's fine. And, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not going to refuse twice, motherfucker. You, you okay. keep saying it. That works for me. Um, yeah. So I, I talked about it last episode. It took me six um, and a half hours to make that. Are you kidding me? No. Holy fuck. I'm not. I am. Yeah. It's, uh, well, it, it no, took me I really, like. It I took really, me an a, a amount of time that I won't bother saying. <laughs> how about that? If you're going to give me cash, I won't. Shit. I won't tell you how long it took me. Well, again, I you know I I looked at Fiverr like everybody does, and I'm like, well, there, there's not really anything there for me. But, and then I, I obviously there's artists everywhere, but I'm look, like, wait, if Lennon if makes you really cool shit, if, if I, you I'm, wanted, I'm, if ahead. you wanted a logo like something crazy. If you wanted something basically the opposite of what you told me you wanted, no, I like that's what I was saying. I was putting it over because right. I really loved it because it's not well, what you right. would here's, think. Here's here's what I was that, saying. You surprised me. Is well, I already know what you like for logos because it's the same thing that Derek likes, and that's <laughs> and that's legible. We're old, legible, <laughs> legible, legible, and uh, I mean, also, but I did take into account the song that you sent me yeah and i did use that to so there's it's not like i just threw something readable together um but i remember that you said you wanted something that you could read and to me even you know that made sense because it was right um i i imagined that that was like a large towering statue or like cool thing because everything to me is tall so like, I, I try to make a logo that to me, if I saw it in person would be huge. Right. And, and, and you, and do, everything doesn't have to be spiky and slimy and spider webby yeah. to be brutal and look huge. So I thought, it, I thought it was just exactly what I wanted, man. Yeah. I was looking for something that was well, good. Cause I don't, you know, I, yeah. just, I didn't want to spend another 20 minutes <laughs> making another one. Making another one. <laughs> and Molly's like, God damn it. Make pizza again. <laughs> Or tacos. tacos. She's, she's, she's used. I meant tacos. God she's used to that me. one where he comes yeah, out, where yeah. he's standing in the, God in, damn it, in, the in the doorway, and he's like, "I made tacos." She's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's used to me making, being on the computer making stuff. I was going to so. say a badass comment on there, and I was like, "Ah, okay, it's inappropriate." <laughs> well, you you said you're you're not a you're, you're not a Facebook. No, I definitely, I, dude, I follow you guys. How dare you post a picture of yourself? (laughs) (laughs) I I think what it, what it comes down to with that is just, we have, uh, you know, Facebook and Facebook is a good way to promote stuff. Um, especially if you got cash, but you have to have a destination to promote. And now, um, with having wrestling with music and life.com, I'll have something to push 
my yeah, ads you don't, into. You don't yeah. really make and, a band and, camp for uh, this. No. And, and, well, you could, but so so with mm. if we were doing like a, like I'm going to put out this single or whatever. Uh, I'll have DistroKid, right? Yeah. And I'll be able to uh, push that through DistroKid, but also I want to have my own website to where maybe you can donate. And that's kind of the thing, too. We do that with Patreon. How about we don't? No offense to Patreon, no offense to the patrons, but maybe we just have a patronage at the website and we push everything to the website. And Shug, obviously, again, I've been looking a lot more into this just because I'm going to do this with my band. Right. And again, uh, I have other bands, but I'm just, I didn't, I didn't take the reins on that. You know what I mean? Derek did. So I'm learning so much. And again, Lyndon has already alluded to a lot that I've learned. And he's like, basically it, he's explaining. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard. Teespring looking into that and comparing it to Everything there's so much printify. Uh, there's just so much, dude. You don't have to put money in it at all, and Teespring gives you fifty percent. That's not bad. I'm telling you, if you come up with the Shug stuff, which he already has, right? He's already got the the logo with you. Uh, what'd you say that movie was from again? It, it, it's you like cooking something, like a oh, he's talking about the yeah the, the horror the horror movie horror movie one um with you on a t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt you made. Oh, I wasn't cooking anything. It was fucking... Uh, I was so confused when you said cooking something. I was like, what the fuck are uh, you no, talking you like about? It's like uh, chemical. I can't fuck around the was, name of the It was, was reanimated. Reanimated. Re yeah. It was so, like, if you just like to reanimate re human flesh. Yeah. If you upload reanimator like thing and Teespring, they like literally just fucking... Okay. 100% do the distribution. First, Go ahead. First, before you make a decision on that... Yeah. Let me see because we just got the Forge Master Teespring set up, and I have yet to see the quality of it because that's the only thing. So I, that's what I looked yeah, into the quality too. For was, sure. yeah, I, was look, I, I typed in Teespring quality. And they said it's not as good as Printify. Uh, it's not as good as no. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about compared to like having like a company like Nar City Lo here. local, local, yeah, a local yes. company do it. Because Which when they printed my shirts, they fucking looked out. They yeah, looked great. Nar City is you're, fucking, putting, you're putting them, and this actually makes more sense for you actually right. to. Print it, have it, and distrib distribute it yourself because people are actually going to come to the show and pay. But I, uh, I, as far as like, you, you could also be like, hey, if you want my merchandise, boom, and you don't have to do shit because you're a working man, forty right. hours a week plus. I work, I work forty plus hours a week, and I still ship stuff out. Right, right. And, and again, I'm not Myself. saying that you can't. I'm well, just saying, I'm saying like, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, if you really want something easy. Now, I've looked at every other one, and I'm 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 not dead set on any at all. Like you said, there's locals. I'll look into that. I'm not going to just say yeah. Yeah, and our city's fucking great. Yeah, like, they, I mean, they do a great job. They just like I guess for a podcast, it makes a little more sense. But I I have been so plugged into like the merch that we make for the band. Yeah, that. Well, the Forge Master thing, I didn't have anything to do with that decision process. That was those guys, which is fine. That's how they want to do it. Oh, by the way, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, awesome video that that dude make. Yeah. Or that made. That yeah. fucking shit it's is pretty cool. cool. I haven't seen it. No, and, I feel like an asshole. Well, we'll, we'll do it on the Patreon. <laughs> it's really hard. We're still doing know, Patreon, so we'll, we'll watch it. The band the is fairly unknown because it's our debut, so it's been hard to get it out. You can only miss send it out to so many people or so many Facebook groups and have right. like nobody see it. Right. Like, anyways, like I was saying is I am somebody that likes to have like total control over yeah. the design until until you know the printers go, we have to do this little adjustment so that it prints correctly. Right. Other than that, I want full like I I don't know. That's the only thing. I don't like that disconnect with those um, those kind of services is what I'm saying, but it does. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just learning. I'm yeah. just diving in. And I'm just trying to figure it out. What is the best way to do this? And it's kind of crazy. Cause there really is no blueprint for your own website and doing it yourself. You like kind of have to just figure it out. And, yeah. and with the local thing, of course I want to, I want to support the local, uh, anything, um, that's kind of what we're doing here is we talk about local anything and we put it over. And, and as far as NAR City, I'll check it out a little bit. But, of course, I've heard of that. 
So, and they've been doing good stuff. So, good suggestion. I think also with the with the website, the sky's the limit. And I say that with pure positivity because yeah. I, I said, you know, have a blog, but you don't have to have a blog. You can have your own thing where you literally are just talking shit. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I, I would like to see you copy your Facebook stuff and just put it in there. <laughs> That's all you got to do. I feel like I, this I, is just have like somebody but this is be able to comment on that. Reverting bit. back to a Zango page. Oh, dude, Zango was awesome. This is going this is to go back to looking like an old Zango page. Right. Well, it won't because I, I looked at the uh, template for that and it was fucking Yeah, you can do anything. I'm like, like, oh my God, we got to have some like I did dead uh, pigs and, and I, shit for Lyndon Skewer's swine, whatever. Make it real. You not remember the title? <laughs> I have two albums coming out this year. Yeah. By the way. That's awesome. I, I just have thought about it today. And I have weird. none. <laughs> Well, you've you've had a lot of chances to get one. I'm saying, wow, oh, look at him, fucking. Oh, I work a lot, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I, but <laughs> go ahead, Buck. <sighs> but yeah, the Forge Master video was cool. I also something I didn't have anything to do with, other than that, it's the band I'm in because it was. Well, I tell you what, when they had the uh, break in that song, and you could kind of hear the bass tone, yeah. fucking sick. Yeah, very good tone. It's, who 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 mixed and mastered that? Is it um, the same I think guy? that was Tyler, the guitar player, Tyler Hoggins. Great, you guys did great. He, but it was mastered. Okay. Well, I don't know who was mastered by, but Tyler did most of the mixing, and I think you know in the end that makes the biggest difference. And right. I didn't use anything on my bass for that. It was I just recorded in dry yeah. on my end and just sent them the parts, and he just lined it up. That's why I'm so glad I have a laptop now to be you know I guess remote and and, and mobile yeah. and be able to maybe just come over and you know unless Emily's like don't allow that ogre be. I don't know if he was. <laughs> He can't fit through a doorway. I don't know if he would gross. fit in our apartment, to be honest. <laughs> All right, I can't even say his last name. Like me, fucking how like me and Dan, me and Dan were talking about uh, talking about <laughs> it because I was talking. I was like, he mentioned about how his kitchen's small. I was like, your kitchen's like kind of big. I mean, compared yeah. to my kitchen. And then I stopped and I thought, I was like, well, me and Emily are two small people, and Dan and and his girlfriend are like tall. Yeah, you know, they're taller like, people. So I was like, it's probably their kitchen feels probably what my kitchen feels like, you know, to, to me. <laughs> but, um, nice. Yeah, our, my apartment's, oh, it's wonderful. It's the perfect size. After living in fucking Second Street with too much room for the last, like, year I was there, it's so nice to live in, like, a small apartment. It's yours. It's yeah. your yeah. space. That's the best. Yeah. Um, I would say, you know, especially because uh, on the same subject, um, we always joked, uh, me, uh, Matt Ford, who I don't even know what he's doing in life, but we always said like death metal dads, you know, because you're like trying to do a death metal project for your dad. Um, with Derek, especially, you know, he has five, 15 kids. <laughs> it's pretty close. And, and it comes down to like, hey, uh, I can come over now. And I'll record you. So um, we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, bust out this dark riff thing, and and I've been in contact with one of my favorite producers I've ever heard. His his bands. I'm gonna put them over right now. This is my section of putting over brothers and sisters. There we go. Buster Oldham or Odholm, Odham. It's, it's it, how do you spell it? Buster. No. Uh, oh, oh my no. god! Uh, Come on. <laughs> Obviously not fucking O-D-E-H-O-L-M. Buster. E H O L M. Odom. I think it's Odom. Odom? Anyway, Buster, I fucked your name up. Where's my girlfriend? (laughs) All right. Beyonce. He he is awesome. (laughs) That's right. He's um, he's a producer. His his actual band is Humanity's Last Last Breath, which is phenomenal. One of the fucking heaviest shits I've ever heard. It's just more the production that I like. And I uh, asked him for a quote for 10 uh, songs. They gave me some ridiculous shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, no. And then he's like, oh, you're not on a label. So we have a different price. Well, that's what I was looking for, brother. There's a, Yeah, there's <laughs> always that the second band. pitch. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? The first one's like, take that. Uh, fuck no, not swinging at that yeah. fucking one. Well, I was also like, hey, the drummers uh, that we had at the time, you know, one of them passed, but... We, I, I just said, these are the drummers that we have that potentially will be in the band. And and I'm guessing they were like, oh, you're signed to a label. Because those oh, guys. They, why, would yeah. that, why, would that, why would you need to tell them that? 
Like just, if you're I, just, it just says like list your members and whoever oh, you know what I mean. I it was just basic. And then I thought you about gave it, him like, like oh, three drummers. Well, because he's something. like, uh, it's going to be eight hundred and fifty dollars per song, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh shit! Which, by the way, isn't too bad. I'm not saying it is, but I'm like, wait, we're not on a. Label, I mean, it's almost ten so. grand when all said and done. Which, you know, there's a local one. Yeah. I, I always talk about the Attic Studios and uh, Jose Urquerza, who's the, the singer of um, uh, Three Years Hollow, uh, local band. Um, he he apparently, and this is like three years ago that I looked into this, he charged that and he produces the whole thing and then he sponsors you and, and keeps with your band. So that's that's where Doppelganger recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scenario. And and great guys. Uh, I've only met Chris, but um, what's it? Uh, well, shit. I don't know. Chris what? Deeds, the only one I really know, uh, the oh, drummer yeah. of that. Yeah. But great band. I thought you were talking about Three Years Hollow. I don't know anybody in that. No, band. no. Three Years Hollow, I don't, I don't even know them. Uh, but the, the, the guy who's uh, the singer, Jose, he, he has the, the studio, which is uh, shared by like the drummer from uh, Seven Dust. Um, well, Morgan, uh, Morgan um, what's his name? Oh shit! I don't know, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. And and I guess <clears throat> you know when you're looking at the the whole package, man, it would be nice to be able to record in a professional studio and not have to actually do all the things. Yeah. But uh, recording skill wise, I, I I feel like this is going to be a little egotistical. Now I feel like I'm I'm in the seat. I know how to do it. I'm, I'm like completely yeah. uh, understandable about what people need uh, as far as when I send it off and doing my own thing. It was really, really hard to understand just because I didn't have anybody else to bounce ideas off. I was like, Oh, okay, well uh, I'll have this guy who's going to produce it. Uh, I'll, I'll have him bounce the ideas. And he did. And it was great because he came up with stuff that I, I didn't even think of. Yeah. I think with you, yeah. it'd make more sense to, do everything other than mastering, like, like yeah. send it off to be mastered, like you did. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me because you you spent the better the last like fifteen fucking years figuring out how to yeah. do it all on your own here and there, you know. Yeah, and and most of the time it was just not having the hardware. A lot right. of people don't realize how much it costs to be a band or a musician, and and I I just mean professional. There right. is there is a. a I don't know if there's a system there to talk about. Like there's a tier system about being a professional. Like if you're looking into, uh, especially you as a bass player, the exact bass that you need for that band, you think about it. Like you like, okay, this is what I need to do this. Yeah. It costs like, you know, thousand dollars. <laughs> there you go. It's so, right out the <laughs> of the band. <laughs> right, hey, there it is. <laughs> like, exactly. I mean, I could have, I probably could have like, you know, uh, spent less. Technically, I did, <laughs> but the bass I play is worth two thousand dollars. I think um, some of my favorite stories too is like the bands that just max their credit cards out. <laughs> horse the band, yeah, horse the band did that. It's like, it's, that's like it was just us. the band, but that's that was really like their last saved. ditch effort to like uh, do yeah. something. I guarantee there's so many that did it though. Well, it's yeah, like, oh, I mean, it's sure. all you have to be is like financially responsible and pay that credit card off, and you're fine. I've I've spent yeah. I've spent I used my my credit card to buy. In ear monitors, right, right. Because they I didn't lost work mine all the time. No, no, that's uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But it's partially my fault because I lost one side during a show. Yeah. So I paid hundred bucks to have a new set sent to me, and then I lost one again. So now I have two left sides that I use, and I just fucking athletic tape them into my ears so they don't fall out which That's still awesome. sucks I guess it still terrible. sucks but I'm not that gonna spend awful. I'm not gonna oh, spend man. another fucking hundred bucks cause they're weird cause they the sure ones which is what we use they detach really easily from the wire yeah and um one thing I didn't really consider when we were talking about using these things is how much I fucking headbang and how much I want to perform and every and all these things I can find are from fucking you know, these sixty-year-old blues players that are like, all you gotta do is just wrap them around your ear. I'm like, wrap bro, the ear. Yeah. I am in fucking crab stance, <laughs> flinging my hair as hard as possible, 
Like what you're telling me is not going to work. I'm, I'm to the point where I need like custom molds done for my ears. And that may not even be good enough. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Lyndon's having the workout of his life. Shug. I mean, he's literally <gasps> dude. like, <laughs> I have sure, to stretch. I'm I mean, sure, obviously bro. like I'm, I'm older, I'm yeah. older now. So I, but I've been doing that since, since, in my twenties, I stretch before a show and make right. sure because you only get a fucking Charlie horse on stage. That's that's terrible. <laughs> but like, yeah, man. Like, I, I, if I, if I don't wake up the next day sore, feels like I didn't do enough. So in turn, my fucking in ear monitors fall out a lot and it ends up yeah. being like the last song. And I just rip them out and they get tangled in my hair. If one falls out and is dangling, it gets tangled in my hair. Oh, man. So I'll fucking yank it and then they fucking pop out and that ear pierce just goes wherever. Uh oh. And that's $60 just disappeared in the wind. Oh, so Fuck, it's really man. hard. Yeah. So yes, it's expensive to be in a band, especially if you yeah, want to be, yeah, yeah. if you want <laughs> to spend the money in ways that help you sound as good or perform as good as you want to. But then that only just opens a door to a thousand new things you got to figure out. And that's kind of what I was leading into was like the people that will help you with mixing and mastering after you've recorded and you send it to them. Uh, they have hardware that is probably 50, Hundred grand, oh, dude. you know what I'm saying, dude. That just those crazy your stuff, those like, fucking mixing crazy, boards, yeah. just those mixing boards. What I have down here, I don't even want to say. You know, you should have seen what archaic, uh, or it probably wasn't necessarily archaic, but a legion that the mm. board that they brought with them. Oh, I bet had one of those. I mean, it was automatic. You'd hit a button, all the sliders would go. Whoosh, yep, right exactly where you needed. Yep, and I literally their sound guy that they had with them was a, f- a fucking master too, because that motherfucker was running all the way from the back of where they set up the se- the secondary soundboard in yep. Wildwood, it's where those chairs are behind the thing. And I saw this guy run through the crowd all the way up front because something was going on with the uh, uh, stage right guitar player. Uh oh, I don't know what was happening. But he had to go, and then something must have been coming up that needed to be, like, adjusted right before, because yeah. that motherfucker ran like a needle, like like a needle through, or like, like thread through a needle through this crowd, slid underneath the fucking table, and reached up underneath the fucking Jesus board like this, and, and hit it perfectly. I watched Holy it happen, because I see him run, fuck. and I hit this button, and everything goes right back where it needed to be. I was like... Right. That's why that guy is getting paid probably fucking twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that's called read automate or write yeah. read automate uh, with hardware. I don't even know how the fuck that works. That's I don't insane. Know. I, don't know. I know how it works with my system, but I'm I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I can tell wise. you. I can tell you that I seen Origin three weeks before that and nice. and they were clearly running on like a cheaper tour yeah. because they had a sound guy who I think was also their tour manager but they didn't have their own board they didn't have anything and they were using what Wildwood has okay their house system and didn't seem to know what he was doing because sound check for every band took forever yeah um and then just man it's been a while since I've been in a venue. And been like, wow, this band, like all these bands are way better than what they sound like. And to watch an origin kind of sound like, huh? Oh. Oh. Like I've seen origin three times now yeah. over the course of like 15 years. Yeah. And this is like the best they've ever been as a band, but the nice. shittiest they'd ever sounded. Oh, and, oh okay. And, and then fast forward a month later. And we're watching a Legion and Archaic and and uh, all these bands, and it just sounded phenomenal. Oh yeah, same tier of bands, but better sound. Dun, 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 better sound. Yeah, And we sold so much <laughs> merch. I couldn't believe how much merch we sold to the touring <laughs> bands. <laughs> the bands the the band themselves, yeah. which is fucking rad, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. Shout out to fucking all those guys. Because they're going to wear yeah. that while they're out touring. Yeah. And be oh, like, yeah. who the fuck said yeah, that? No, I've talked to people. Which is like helps for like fucking mass, like your name out. I've talked to people since then that said, Jared Christensen from Archaic told me about your band. Awesome. That's fucking <laughs> which rad. Is the, which is the shit, but. 
Yeah, dude. There's, I mean, fucking Chris, the bassist, uh, the bassist, uh, John from Summoning the Lich. Summoning the Lich fucking ruled. I mean, everybody on that band. So anyways, it was kind of humbling. But all the way back to that, they sounded way better than than Origin. Mm. <laughs> they sounded way better than, than Origin, this band. But they're very, they're very uh, tech savvy, though, the band. Uh, I don't even know who yeah. the original members that are still there, though. But um, Archaic? It's just the singer, right? It's literally just Jared Christensen. Yeah, okay. it's like the original. And he's he been is great. that band. I love the band because he had different patterns within his vocals. I can, I can promise you that dude that had, he was working the merch table the whole time, barely moved from that spot as somebody who knows how to run merch will do. Nice. Um, Didn't have an Emily though. Had no. Well, I mean, you know, I don't have an Emily when I'm out of state usually. Right, 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 right. Um, but had like multiple fucking binders behind him that I could assume was all tour and just business, all business. Right. Like, Another guy who, like, I see talk to Matt Bacon all the time. He's, okay. he's done podcasts about, like, uh, having a, a, a touring band, like, professional band. Something, uh, advice I'll probably never follow when it comes to that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Which but, is okay. But, yeah. Anyways, all the way back to that, yeah, money makes a difference. Like, your gear makes a difference. Uh, hardware itself is key. You know, that really does make or break. Uh, now I know that, you know, um... I, uh, a, a very easy example is like, how do I make my tone so amazing that somebody else who's going to not even know who I am, guitar tone, bass tone, how do I do that? How, how do I send that to, then, I, then you learn, oh, it, well, you have to get, it's called the direct end signal, the best that it can be. This is- and then you get a radial J48, right? You don't, you don't have to get that, but you can get whatever. To boost your sound, and that was all it took for for pe- somebody who you don't even know to go. That's amazing tone. All right, I'll make a tone out of that. And it, and I know that's a little technical, but I, it, I want to relate it with with wrestling because literally so many people put on shows shows like there's a pe- there's a person for everything, especially the the bigger venues, AAW, like the sound guy at AAW has way more to do than a music fucking show for me and Lyndon or whatever, whatever band that's happening. There's so much happening at a, at a wrestling show. Speak on that. It's very, it's very um, similar. I don't, I, I don't, don't know if that's the case. That's not the case at all. I would definitely a because agree. show. I've, Sorry. I've run, I've run a live, a live soundboard for like newscasts and right, stuff. Yeah. And it's it's definitely. You're just cutting and, and arming yeah, mics. Okay. So and what, bringing what, up like, music think about WWE then, I guess. Even uh, WWE still, it's nothing like they have a professional. They have like yeah, but like they don't have to guys. worry about a fucking instrument sounding like shit. It's oh, not okay. loud enough. Like it's it's not mean. the same. It's uh, like it's like apples and oranges is what I did. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Fuck me. But okay. like again, microphone <laughs> sound, which would be more like I guess the vocal part or a I mean, sound just, check. But also, still, that's WWE nothing. has a whole control room of people yes. oh yeah it's but you have, fucking I, venue i guarantee like, you have one part. guy on a soundboard because yeah. you just i mean it's everything when you're just dealing with mics and you're just talking you're just dealing with um make you're just making sure mics are clipping you fade the hardest thing about that is just fading music in and out yeah like i had right. to do that on thing. live tv yeah. and that's difficult at first but once you just feel the resistance you know how the slider is you can do it dude i could do it fucking Perfect. Just oh, like man. like bringing music down as a news as a news anchor is coming you on. You have your own show or- called Sliders. <laughs> Fuck. Sliders. Sliders. <laughs> but yeah, that wouldn't be as difficult. Not that I completely understand the WWE like a broadcast like that's probably a little more complicated. But I would I would argue that somebody running sound for like. A band like Rammstein. Yeah, it's completely oh, fucking that different. Would be so completely much different because you're constantly adjusting. So I got news. I'm the new sound guy for Rammstein. Oh, Jesus I can't Christ. believe it. It's gonna be easy. I can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no. But it's again, not. Um, <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> what about what about your? My question was wrestling. Yeah. What about your gear you wear during? Does that make any difference in terms um, of? It can. Oh, yeah. I, I think uh, the first, like um, again, with me, I think of like the first time nobody's ever seen you work before. You better fucking grab them and hit them right yeah. away. So I have entrance gear. So, oh, yeah. like, when I come to the ring, I have this badass fucking Mad Max jacket that, like, instead of just keeping the shoulder pad normal, I added these giant fucking spikes to it. That looks right. really dope. I'm yeah. Sure. And, like, so dope. Dope. like dope. and then I have the entrance mask, and, like, I come to the ring, I do my pose, and then take all of that off. I already have you grabbed right away, and I haven't fucking done anything yet. Like, literally, like, if True. this is the first time you see Shane Hollister... I have you right yeah. now. And that's important. I think like, again, like appearance, uh, the way you look is important. And then obviously after that performance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's, I guess that's was my question was, does it affect, and I'm talking about you as the wrestler, not the audience specifically, because that's, that's, that's a given, right? Right. You come out right. in a garbage bag, unless that's your character, it doesn't make any sense. Right. But like, does it affect the way you perform um, specifically? Well, with the entrance stuff, no. Cause I mean, it's heavy. Well, not like, the entrance stuff. We're, we're like, talking about what you wear in the ring. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. well it, it can, does. but you want to wear stuff that you can move in. Mm-hmm. And I have, uh, um, there for a while i still wear the same kind of uh jeans that i've had for fuck fucking five years right and i have three pairs of the same jeans um somehow did you buy smaller jeans yet i should (laughs) fuck (laughs) but it's hard to find them because they don't actually sell them in store so i have to get in fucking (laughs) online fucking order them but uh um yeah, no, uh, I came across something, and it's like, oh, well, you went to Hot Topic. Uh. But yeah, I did, because they <laughs> fucking made these jeans called Stingers, and I was like, nice. all right. Good. They're like skinnier than super skinny jeans. Yeah. And I put them on, and they say they stretch. I literally could almost do the complete splits in these motherfuckers. Uh, I'm not blowing out the crotch like I did at a show one time. Nice. Blew the crotch out. We, no we one talked about it. Yeah, we've, we've already talked story. about this. But yes, Do you with want these to have a sugar lyric about hot topic, real quick. <laughs> but but I, again, I got your hot topic, you art nerd. I'm gonna push in your fart turd. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> That's literally from like ten years ago. <laughs> but anyways, no, ahead, I ca- I came across those ones and was like it was great. But like I also have uh, these black and white like almost uh, looks like wrestling gear. Mm. But uh, I come across it on uh, Amazon. Of all things, they're called meggings. Wow! Oh yeah, men's <laughs> leggings, <laughs> and they look like wrestling gear. Okay. And there's a back pocket, so I do the thing where I put the bandana in my back pocket. So like. It looks like I'm not really wearing anything different than I normally do because my jeans are just as fucking yeah. tight as those are. Mm. But I, I'm i actually not wearing jeans. So sometimes that stands out more because it's like, oh, dude just comes to the ring in fucking jeans. Yeah. But like, again, fuck you. <laughs> my performance is better than most motherfuckers come out there in their $300 wrestling gear that can go Fuck themselves. Also, I, I bought right. some Godzilla socks from Hot Topic, so also fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking buy anything from Hot Topic if I fucking feel like Exactly. It. Like, anybody like, wants oh, to... Sh- oh, man. At least I can afford to buy shit, you fucking poor ass Yes, nerds. fuck you. <laughs> Get all pissy about where I buy my stuff. Go fuck yourself. Like, right. seriously. <laughs> ahead, November buddy. 5th, Raccoon Motel in Davenport is a Pit Lord release show. We're putting Hell out you. the album. We are... It's only $10 to get in so literally nobody has any fucking excuse to not show oh, up. Ten dollars, right. man. And I'm gonna pay you $10 I will right put people on the guest list. I'm just going to have a raffle and figure out who that's going to be. Um, we'll have the album CDs, 
Vinyl, uh, Toxic Ruin is on it, Celestial Serpent, Frontal Assault, Chronos Resistor. There's fucking uh, five, five bands on this show for $10 in November 5th, Saturday. That's Don't right. Come. You're a that's fucking super dumb. fucking right. That's, that, that, You're that's a fucking dumber. T- yeah, seriously, a dumber. Oh, dumber. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So we're just going to put over the next one, which is uh, September 10th. Retaliation. Fuck you. Anyways, I, I did. I put up the so shit. it's at, have it pop up right when he. Yeah, it it's at the Walcott yeah. Coliseum in Walcott, Iowa. Yeah, and the, the flyers rad as fuck. By the way, mm. and uh, yeah, I'm stoked. It's time. Okay. That it's good. time. I wish I could make flyers that good. That looks really. Fun. Yeah, dude. Whoever the fuck makes. The, SCW's flyers right now, they're fucking I killing it. <laughs> I gotta figure John out who it was. Flyer maker? Jo- John uh, Flyer. John, John Flyer. Flyer maker. I'll yeah, send you John the, Flyer. Yeah, I'll send you the flyer. You can probably just find the flyer for the Pit Lord show. I but, uh, find Facebook. it, I, I think. If I just, so, I just send it to you. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for the yeah. next few months because it's spooky. Oh, fuck yeah. Going so, to Dollar General to pick up Halloween directly. Yeah, that shit too. Yes. But also, uh, October, I have a whole new uh, plan for the way my whole entrance is going to be and the way I'm going to look. So, oh, uh, you're going to get, I'm going to keep spice? it, I'm going to keep it secret yeah. and keep it the, you know, you come to the show, figure out what the fuck it is or don't, and then have to pay the Patreon to see it. Yeah, or see pictures because you miss the fuck out. So, or yes. we have a website and you have to join uh, in a membership. Yes, that too. That would be awesome. Yes, 